Are you here for me? Or are you here for her? I think I know the answer. She's perfectly fine, just like this. As long as she can see the food, she's happy, happy as a clam. It ain't gonna happen. Hey, this is my vlog and not yours. You're being rude. Rude. Hello there. Today, we're gonna take it easy. We are just gonna do a little food review and then, and then we're gonna call it a day. Cause baby woke up with an eye twitch and tonight baby's gonna go to bed early <laughs> that doesn't mean that i don't have time to enjoy today's delectable dessert early this afternoon i ran downtown to go to this little pop-up quote-unquote christmas market of independent artists and vendors and small businesses just to visit coralie she is an artist here in lille her instagram name is hello Beeb. and i got some stuff from her I got like this cute little card that says birthday queen. I just wanted the cake because, you know, it's on theme, you know what I mean? And then I got this one. I'll probably put this in a frame in my kitchen. I just really like pink and I think this is cute. So that was a nice experience. And I also got something else, but I can't show you because it's for a friend and that friend might see this vlog. And then I tried to go to today's patisserie, but apparently uh, they do not abide by the hours that they have published on the internet, so it was closed. So I had to start hunting for other places to go so I could, you know, switch my agenda around. And I ended up going to Monsieur M. It's this little cafe that I've never been to, but it's really like just off the main plaza in Lille. Nothing spectacular about it, to be honest. I didn't understand like why it was in any top 10 lists of like patisserie or bakery to go to in Lille, but I don't know, maybe this will just blow my socks off. I hope not because my feet are already kind of cold. Hey, can you please not eat those? Can you, can you please not eat those? Worm, you can't see her, but she is, heavily involved she is um you know like how the aspca has cat personalities she is the robin to my batman if robin were literally super glued to batman you're more than just a sidekick huh she's more than just a sidekick she's more like a stalker but i don't think that's one of the aspca cat personalities anyway I went to Monsieur M and when you walk in, it's just, you know, again, it's a really tiny space with standing room only when you enter, but they have a staircase. So I believe that they have seating upstairs. I didn't go check it out. My experience kind of drove me crazy, but it is not to the fault of Monsieur M. It's just that I walked in. I was like in a hurry, you know, because the first patisserie had been closed and I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I was running around. I went to the next one. It was closed as well, cause today is a Sunday. And then I ended up at Monsieur M. So I was already a little bit stressed out. I was in a hurry. I had gone to the Christmas market to visit Coralie. So I was like running behind on time. So I walk in and there's a young French guy and his, it seems like his girlfriend or at least his date or something. And she was a native English speaker. So she was speaking to him in English. And it seemed to me that they had already placed their order. Like the girl behind the counter was making drinks, whipped cream and all sorts of stuff. It dawned upon me that the girl was kind of waffling over which pastry to get. And there are only like five pastries. It's not a big selection. And like three of them are cheesecake and the cheesecake flavors are pretty obvious. Like there's an Oreo cookie on one of the cheesecakes and it has black speckles in it. So could you guess what flavor that might be? So they were like talking and the girl was just like, I don't know what to, I don't know what to get. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. Like what, what do you, what flavor do you think that? Five entire minutes of choosing between like five pastries. <laughs> I'm like just behind them. Like I gotta go. 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 I gotta. Then she started talking to her boyfriend about how his drink with whipped cream and stuff looked really good, and maybe she should change her drink. And she was speaking in English. I think that she assumed that nobody else in the room could understand her. And the girl behind the counter, who was French but spoke English, was like, "You can still change your mind." And I thought, "Don't, don't, don't give her this opportunity." But I was just like a thermometer, and the temperature was raising and raising, and I was just like. Take any piece of cheesecake. It's gonna taste like cheesecake. I'm usually pretty patient, but when I'm in a hurry and somebody is really taking a long time, the first thing that I notice is that it's really a coffee shop. It's like a cafe. So it's not, I don't think it's a place where you would go like 
you would go to a bakery to get something sweet on the go. It's more like you go there to have a cup of coffee and sit down with somebody and you might enjoy a piece of cake as well for me. You can look, but you cannot touch, okay? So it's not really something that I would be looking for if I were just like trying to find something sweet to eat, but I guess we're doing this video together. That would probably be a nice place to go if I were meeting somebody for coffee. Yeah, I'll give you a lick of powdered sugar, okay? Here, you can taste the powdered sugar. You like powdered sugar. You don't want it? I doubt that the microphone is picking it up. She's just purring. The people behind the counter were really kind and you know, it was a nice experience other than the girl who could not make up her mind. That's enough, that's, that's sufficient. You've really, you've pushed all the buttons that you can possibly push. We are all systems go at this point and you need to, you need to cool your jets, okay? Any angle she can get. If only I could shoot B-roll through Wormy's eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm very tired. I'm losing my mind. I'm so sorry. I asked her what flavor this is and she said it's a hazelnut macaron and it has, it looks like it has a little violet on top. Mmm. Tastes like nothing. <laughs> Let's find out what it's like. That is edible. It's a pretty typical macaron. It's heavy, it's very rich. Like this entire macaron is quite a bit. That's, that's gonna be eating like a heavy piece of cake and it's mostly the buttercream. The macaron, it's like the perfect amount of crisp, very, very thin, crisp edge on the outside. It's got a beautiful foot to it. The inside is ooey gooey deliciousness and it looks like they also have caramel filling to it. It's quite a lot here. I'm not sure if I can eat this whole thing. It's a coffee shop. They have ordinary pastries. Probably their selection changes on a regular basis. Normal, basic, standard. The flavor is reminding me of something and I can't figure out what it is. It's taking me back to something but I can't figure out what it is. We're not talking ratatouille. It's just like, I know that I've tasted this before, but it's not like some kind of sweet, wonderful childhood memory. It's just like probably just another chocolate macaron that I had in Paris or something. I'm going to eat the rest of this because I'm pretty low on energy and my body is really enjoying this sugar right now. <laughs> Let us remove ourselves and recongregate at the advent calendar so that we can rate this place. Come on. We gotta rate the, the stuff, okay? Did you fart? I don't know. I love you too, but I really wish that you would stop farting. What, you just look at food and you fart? Okay, lovely. We have to give our rating. What do you think? You think whatever I think? Yeah, okay. Oh, you wanna see? You wanna see? Don't eat. No, it's not food. It's not food, it's not food, it's not food. No, <laughs> she just took it from me. <laughs> Where me? Stop! Here, I will give you your own, okay? You can have your own. You can have your own. You want <laughs> Don't, don't, don't actually eat it, okay? <laughs> let's get, let's get to it. For atmosphere, this has cat fur on it now. I don't think it's gonna stick to anything. For the atmosphere, I'm gonna say maybe yucky, maybe yummy. I wasn't looking for a coffee shop. I was looking for a patisserie. Is that delicious? Is it, is it, oh, that's my, look, now that is my hoodie string. You can't eat that. Well, you're not in trouble, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to make sure that you don't choke on that. Selection, again, I'm gonna say mi <laughs> middle ground. Maybe yucky, maybe yummy, I don't know. They seemed to have pretty basic items. They had cheesecake, uh, and then they had like some tarts. I think they had like a strawberry tart. You wanna get down? You gotta make a choice, okay. I am middle ground today, yes. I am maybe yucky, maybe yummy today. I will admit it. I wasn't really feeling the cheesecake, plus it's like New York cheesecake. That's not really a French thing per se. So um, I'm gonna give them a maybe yucky, maybe yummy on that. Oh no, all of these are gonna fall off. No, no, no. I will tape them up when, <laughs> when I'm done with this. Fact of the matter is Monsieur M gets mediocre all across the board. Maybe I'm just in a sleepy mood. <laughs> It was good, it just wasn't as good as anything else that I've had so far. Even the apple tart knocked that macaron out of the tart, out of the tart, out of the park. <laughs> okay, folks, that's it, we are through.
cut. That's it for today, folks. I gotta get this on my computer, I gotta edit it, I gotta get it on YouTube, and then I gotta go to bed so that I can come back tomorrow with the same energy level that I usually have. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.